Hello and welcome to Thought for October the 15th. Our readings are 2 Chronicles chapters 5 and 6, Ezekiel chapter 41 and John chapter 7. And our thought is, no one ever spoke like this man. The chief priests and Pharisees sent officers to arrest Jesus, but they returned having failed. The drama of this event is in our reading today in John chapter 7. They are rebuked. Why did you not bring him? Verse 45. And they respond, no one ever spoke like this man. We are given no detail of the scene, but we imagine these officers standing within the crowd of people who were absorbed in what Jesus was saying, for he was teaching them as one who had authority and not as their scribes, as we read in Matthew 7, verse 29. No fiction writer could have invented the character of Jesus. It is impossible for anyone with a reasoning mind to read the gospel records and not realise that these accounts have an overwhelming ring of truth about them. So we picture the dilemma of these officers sent on their impossible task of arresting Jesus. What was the real reason his arrest was sought? Pilate realised the real reason. In Matthew's Gospel, it says, He knew that it was out of envy they had delivered him up. Chapter 27, verse 18. And in the end, in order to secure his arrest, they had needed the help of a traitor and the cover of darkness at midnight, the hour coming with swords and clubs as Matthew 26 and verse 55 records, in order to make their arrest. Before the officers came on their unsuccessful mission, the crowd had been debating who he was for, some of the people said, this really is the prophet. Others said, this is the Christ. But, some said, is the Christ to come from Galilee? Verses 40 and 41. This debate continues to this day, and we recognise that it is the will of God that it should be so. His birth in Bethlehem had been concealed. Why was this? Are we to complain because that which is true is not immediately made plain? Are we going to use this as an excuse for not believing? The character of Jesus and the impact he had and then left on the earth after his death and resurrection, is in itself evidence for all who genuinely seek to find and believe. Truly, no one ever spoke like this man. And we turn away from reading of what he said and what his followers were inspired to write to our eternal loss. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing that Word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.